Hi! So, a lot of people on this one. <laughs> Pretty much the whole Laws family has joined. Ooh. You guys must really like this episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the city of Laws. City. <laughs> this is Bree, by the way, for those who don't know. She's been in a few videos, too. She's in the demo reel and uh, uh, Suburban Nights also, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. The kid in that. Um, so, yeah, a huge Adventure Time fan, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, super huge. She was also the hand you saw grab his glasses last I time. I'm the stunt hand. Yes, yeah, so she's the stunt hand, which now I get. <laughs> so, and we, I know that by watching City of Thieves. Uh, this is an episode where you got um, uh, uh, Jake and Finn, they come across this town where everyone steals everything. And there's this tree lady, that's the only way I can describe her, that just comes out of a tree and says, it'll turn you into a thief. And they don't believe in, they see this uh, little girl that says, was it her basket was stolen? Yes. Yeah. And they have to go into the City of Thieves to get it back, and she says, but there's this tall tower that only a pure heart can get uh, the stuff in, and maybe my uh, basket is there. You just have to take it from the Master of Thieves. So he goes in, takes it, and becomes a thief that way. And Finn feels so terrible and dirty that he goes and tries to get vengeance on the little girl, I guess. But the vengeance is making her pure by cleaning her up, apparently, and they, in turn, become very clean themselves. Uh, so, even though she steals his clothes at the end. <laughs> so, the, the basic episode, uh, uh, pretty funny. Uh, I love the animation when they're stealing everything. And, I mean, because that goes on for, like, a couple of minutes. I mean, just everybody's always taking something. It's sort of, like, neat design upon neat design. And, uh, just a good energy and a good pacing to it. Um, I also like the design of that tree lady, too. But <laughs> does she have a name? No, I don't know. She's just tree... Just, witch just, thing. just tree witch thing. Okay, we'll call her that. Um, and you know uh, we're gonna have a bunch of people going. No, yeah, her name is. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, just, just basic kind of fun episode. I'm not gonna say much because I have a three-headed monster here. So what do you guys have to say? I, I I I just wanted to say like anytime you see like a cartoon or a show where they say oh this is a city of thieves or like everyone uh, kind of steals, there's always still that separation of here are the thieves, and here are the people that are being preyed upon. And in this city of thieves, no, everyone is actually a thief. Yeah, the that's guy true. breaks out, steals the baby, who in turn steals the jewel <laughs> from his t from his tooth. Yeah, I love the baby steals too. <laughs> it's one of those where no, it's literally a city of thieves where everyone is actually a full-on thief, and no one's actually being preyed upon because they're all preying upon each other. I would actually point out I did guess that the Penny Girl was going to be a thief, by the way. I called that. You're like, no, no, she just said she was afraid. That's why she couldn't go in. I'm like, bull crap. I She's going to steal from me. Why? I tried. <laughs> but but I, I didn't catch on that that would make him a thief, though. I thought that was a clever um, uh, sort of twist on that. Um, so how about you, Joey? Dun, dun, dun. I thought it was actually really neat um, if we're going by showing a little lesson, you know, the idea of sometimes we do things accidentally, it's not that you're a bad person. You just do things sometimes that don't necessarily turn out to be quite as good as they should be. And I love the idea that Penny, you know, is kind of that crap friend, that bad influence <laughs> that mothers like to tell their children about. Oh, like you... Doug. <laughs> no, don't yes. you know she's the bad influence on other friends? You should know that. <laughs> Mothers speak of you to their children. <laughs> uh, it, that pictures are on the wall, stay away from Bree. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, she's kind of that bad influence where she kind of tricks Finn. And I, and I love in the end, too, which is probably twisted, but I love in the end, we cleaned you, everything's fine, we're perfect. And she's like, oh yes, you're right, I'll never do it again. And in a way... And she steals his clothes, and it's like, yeah, because people don't just turn around and <laughs> change like that. I mean, it takes a while, unless, you know? Yeah, unless it sort of seems like uh, Finn and Jake, well, especially Finn, feels that he's turned around now, when really what he's done is not that bad. Yeah. But but for him, seeing himself as so pure and so good, uh, you know, he, he feels like this something so terrible. But yeah, no, I agree. The fact that it shows that he sort of can... For him, this is like he's done something so awful, so bad, but it shows that, no, you can... It happens, and you can come back from it and still be fine. Um, and the other thing I really like, again, about this show, I was talking about how positive and upbeat, you know, they always are. Uh, I like the fact of how much, I mean, not only are they very helpful and they, and they want to keep uh, helping people out, but they're so 
it, they so enjoy, I guess, as he always puts it, how pure he is and how good he is. He just loves good, <laughs> you know, and he, you know, to him, good is awesome. And it's like the coolest thing. Mm-hmm. And I just think that's so... It, I like that kids and people get into that. They just get into how positive he is and just how he wants to keep doing positive things and spreading positive things. Because I think for a while, like for a long time, maybe because the characters in the past that were like that weren't written very well, but these two are written very well. And they're a lot of fun. And and, and they're they're funny and, and, and they're kind of cool. They they embrace sort of their dorkiness and they're just like, no, we're going to do whatever we want. We have adventures and swords. What? What's wrong with that? And... It just makes them a lot of fun and enjoyable to watch. So it's, I think it's great that they're so upbeat, they're so positive, but they're also kind of cool. Like, you want to watch them. It's not like, oh, the, whatever, the stick in the mud always has to do the right thing. They're actually enjoyable and fun and, and like, smart. Well, I won't say smart, but, like, (laughs) interesting characters. They can get the kids excited about being cool. They can get the kids excited. About being good. Yeah, about being good. It's like, great, you don't have to be this boring little Mm. loser that always just helps people around. I mean, Mm. he's not. He's not a goody two-shoes. He's morally solid, Mm. you know, but he's still, he talks back to adults. He does all this kid stuff that kids do all the time, that kids wish they could do all the time. And that's okay. Mm. It's, it, it just, it it is what it is. And it's, it's fun. It's okay. You can still be cool and good at the same time. What do you got? What do you, what? What do you got? Say something. Something you like about this episode. Eh, I don't know, but I see what mom says about the whole, like, um, uh, like the bad... (laughs) <laughs> you haven't bad. heard what she said yet. <laughs> bad influence. I also sort of see the whole, like, sometimes people just don't change. Like, once a thief, always a thief. Mm. Like, Penny, I don't know. <laughs> no, I say, yeah, it's, yeah, like what you were saying where it's like, you can't, did you really think you could change a person around that fast? Like, even Finn, when he changes, it's because he wants to change. That Penny didn't want to change, so she doesn't. You know, she just yeah. puts on a facade. So... Yeah, I, I think that's sort of what makes the big difference, is that Finn, he feels he's done something wrong, he's in a bad spot, but he wants to get out of it. And that's half the battle, so mm-hmm. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> wrong show. Uh, yeah. I, I just love how when, you know, he's like, we're Virgin Islands, and the two cherubs come down. <laughs> and then steal uh, the swords. <laughs> <laughs> comes down, they're like, duh, duh, steal the size and fly off. I like that. That's so, all I have to say, bye. Oh, <laughs> hey. He left. Oh, she left. Don't leave me, Laws! Oh, now all we got is the one I said would never come back. <laughs> I came back anyway. Bye!